Good afternoon. As spring settles in and we welcome back warmer weather, I'd like to provide an update on activities at the MBTA. In March, we opened the Union Square branch of the Green Line Extension, a major milestone for the T with new stations at Leachmere and Union Square in Somerville, as well as a revitalized Science Park station. Later this year, five new stations will open along the Medford branch. Once fully completed, GLX will provide service to areas that have historically not had access to fast and reliable rapid transit. By supporting increased ridership of more than 50,000 trips per day across both branches, this project supports municipal plans for sustainability and economic development and will significantly reduce vehicle emissions. But we're not stopping there. The MBTA continues its work to build a better T beyond the Green Line. Beginning April 25th through May 8th, the Blue Line will be replaced with shuttle service between airport and Bowdoin stations. This 13-day full-access diversion will allow us to replace 1,800 feet of track and perform maintenance such as leak sealing, tunnel lighting improvements, fiber optic cable installation, and signal repairs. By taking this approach, this diversion replaces a full year of night and weekend disruptions for our customers. Starting this week and running through mid-June, there will be service changes on the Newburyport Rockport commuter rail line. Riders should visit mbta.com for service alerts and updated schedules. Work includes the replacement of the commercial street bridge in Lynn, the installation of automatic train control signal upgrades as part of the positive train control safety project along the entire line, signal upgrades at North Station, the reopening of the Gloucester drawbridge, and additional track, rail, and culvert projects. These infrastructure projects will help modernize the commuter rail network and improve safety, reliability, and resiliency for passengers. Newburyport Rockport line riders who typically purchase monthly passes should purchase no higher than a Zone 3 pass for May and no higher than an Interzone 5 pass for June. To avoid this planned construction, riders are also encouraged to consider alternatives like the Haverhill commuter rail line or the blue or orange lines. Riders should also note that dates may change and additional periods may be added as needed for construction. Ridership continues to improve steadily. During the last week of March, subway gates averaged close to 225,000 validations on weekdays, which is approximately 50% of 2019 ridership during the same time period. Bus ridership averaged 257,000 riders per weekday, about 70% of the 2019 baseline for this week and commuter rail increased by about 5%, averaging over 61,000 trips that week, setting a pandemic era high and representing 50% of 2019 riderships. All indicators point to a greater number of people returning to the city. We are prepared to meet the new normal with new permanent fare products, including the commuter rail flex pass that provides riders with reduced rates and greater scheduling flexibility as well as expanding second transfers on buses, express bus routes, and subways. It seems almost cliche to say gas prices are at historic highs, but in today's economy, we have surpassed anything we could have imagined, including last year's record-breaking highs. Between the price of gas and around-the-clock traffic, sometimes exceeding pre-pandemic levels on many of our major roadways, now more than ever, it's time to take the tea. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention extended the requirement that face masks be worn on subways, buses, trains, in stations, or while waiting on platforms. This means face masks must continue to be worn on the MBTA. The T is continuing to upgrade air filtration systems and clean vehicles, stations, and back office spaces regularly. The MBTA continues to face a shortage of bus operators. Last week, the T hosted a one-day fast-track hiring event during which candidates filled out applications, were interviewed by our HR professionals, underwent workforce assessments, and some of whom were offered a job right on the spot. In total, the hiring event attracted over 100 applicants and will be hosting another one soon. If you or someone you know are interested in becoming a bus operator with a competitive salary, great benefits, and a sign-on bonus of up to $4,500, visit mbta.com slash apply. Our hiring campaign doesn't stop there. For the first time, we're calling on our workers to refer a friend to a career at the MBTA. If a T employee refers someone for a bus operator position and they're hired, they'll receive a $1,000 referral bonus. The person referred will receive a sign-on bonus of up to $4,500 and assistance getting their commercial driver's license if they don't already have it. This upcoming weekend is sure to be one of the busiest periods in Boston since 2020. Friday is the start of Passover and Sunday is Easter. 
We also have the Red Sox home opener, and on Monday, the return of the Boston Marathon to its rightful place on the Boston sports calendar. If you're working this weekend, operating our trains and buses, serving as an inspector or station official, or acting in a support role to provide safe and reliable service to our riders and visitors, thank you. If you're one of the many MBTA Transit Navigation Crew volunteers lending a hand and providing customer assistance on Marathon Monday, thank you. To all of our riders, thank you for continuing to take the tea and allowing us to get you where you need to be every day.